offense. Score the first takedown. Hey, look at me, eyes. Believe in yourselves. Coach Hancock stoking the Shamrock Flames as they sought out their impressive third Division I state title in the last four years. As for Davison, making their first appearance in the championship match for the first time since they won the whole enchilada back in 2006. In gold, Davison would jump out to start the match. Junior Dominic Ross ranked fourth at 140, down a weight to 135 to tussle with the two-time defending individual state champ, Ken Bade. Ross was controlling the action. Off the whistle, Ross gets Bade's head down stack, and then the blast double. The ref smacks the mat. First two matches but CC would fire back at 140. The number one wrestler in this class, Junior Malik Amin versus Matthew Miller. Amin up to the task. The front headlock snapped down and turned the corner. Malik took the match and points on the scoreboard for the Shamrocks. We go to 160. A good one here is number one Logan Marsicki of CC facing the second ranked Jordan Cooks. It was a seesaw affair throughout, but Cooks gets Marsicki with the high single leg to a go behind. Cooks cooked up his 35th win of the season. Next to 171, the number one grappler in this weight for Detroit Catholic Central, Drew Garcia, taking on Tyler Wildmo. The junior Garcia going wild on Wildmo, the reshot to a single, go behind, then a dump. Drew still perfect at 45 and 0. CC's wave of momentum beginning to swell. 189 pounders. Shamrock sophomore Nick Geese taking on Jake Ellis, and Nick would be in control in this one, getting Ellis with the blast double. He would take the match. Another number one wrestler for DCC, senior co-captain Bob Coe, the heavyweight. Dakota powers his foe. Coe was the man, powering over powers for the pin. Coe is keyed up. Shamrock snatched the lead for the first time. But Davison would win at 103. CC retorts at 112. A nail biter between Parker O'Brien and Jacob Madrigi. The junior Shamrock O'Brien sprawls and scoots behind for two. Shamrocks get the win. Match deadlocked. Back come the Cardinals at 119. Lincoln Olsen taking on Trevor Zadebski. This was an NCAA big time scrabble, and it's Olsen coming through for two. Davison up 26 to 23. Amazingly, who would take home the state championship trophy would ride on the final match of the night. 125, Davison's Derek Humphrey versus CeCe's Evan Toth. Humphrey jumped all over Toth from the start. Toth slipped on a headlock. Humphrey recovered to a single for the takedown. Know this, Toth lost the final match in 2011 that gave Oxford the title. Deja vu all over again, or is it? Down 9-2 in the final minutes, Toth must have a pin for the Shamrocks to celebrate. Evan gets Humphrey in a headlock as tight as a vice grip. Redemption. I'll say it, under a paramount of pressure, this, the greatest finish in team wrestling finals history. Detroit Catholic Central claims its second straight Division I state title. We caught Toth down in the party. Feels awesome. I, I've been in that position before, and last time I wasn't a really happy feeling. And this time I pulled it off and got a state championship. 